crude oil theft in Nigeria has been an open secret for a very long time. Now, why no serious action has been taken to curb the menace is what Nigerians are asking. Here at the NNPC Command and Control Center, which became operational in February 2022, the technology employed here has made it easy to identify these oil thieves and apprehend them as well. Now, since installation, taking a look at this board, we can clearly see that about 396 illegal refineries have been identified and deactivated. About 413.6 thousand barrels of crude have also been recovered. Here we see 30.5 million liters of diesel also recovered. Now here 461.8 thousand liters of petrol has also been recovered. Same goes, of course, for kerosene, as we can see here. The records show now all this were achieved between April to date. Taking a look at the next board that we see here, you can clearly see that illegal refineries have been identified with their exact coordinates right here. That is what the screen is showing us at the moment. Now, if you wait a little longer, you will get to see a live picture, a live video of this pits spread across in a place called Ahoda in River State. Fascinating image that we see here. The pits are scattered all over. Business is thriving. What we see in most of these sacks are actually sacks of crude oil. Everyone is all part of the business here. The river close by is gone because it's all black. You might actually just call that a crude oil well. Business is thriving. And from what you see, this has been going on for a very long time. The signs of stopping them, well, we're going to have to see how that plays out in the coming months as the government pins their location, sends the information to security operatives, be it from the federal government or private security firms, to walk in there and deactivate this particular business that has been going on for a very long time. On this particular part, we can actually clearly see that you can easily spot the hot zones in this particular area. The red actually, you know, gives us the critical areas here, as we can see. And in these critical areas, we're talking about places where, of course, all sorts are going on at this point. Illegal refineries, illegal connections, equipment vandalism. That's what's probably going on in the areas where you have the red spots, the critical priorities as they call them, the less critical priorities actually have to do with host community issues from what this map is showing.